everyone, how's it going? As I said at the top, I'll be reviewing The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Warning, there'll be spoilers. Now, the story is this. Bilbo Baggins and um, Gandalf the Grey are on an adventure with a bunch of dwarves to reclaim their homeland from a giant dragon called Smog. Um, now, Bilbo does not want to go on this adventure. He's like, no, 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 no. You know, adventure and hobbits do not mix well. But Gandalf eventually persuades him, especially reminding him of um, his ancestor who um, fought in the wars. Um, and, you know, Bilbo eventually joins in and he's like, okay. But he still doubts himself uh, through the journey. Um, and even the dwarves do, like Thorn of Oakenshield. During the adventure, um, they deal with a bunch of crazy things. Uh, they deal with living mountains. Trolls, goblins, orcs, golem, and a dark and ancient evil that's coming back into the world. Now, the story itself is pretty straight from the book. They do add things um, that weren't in the original story. Like, um, like for example, there's a character called Radagast the Brown who, in the book, didn't really um, do anything. He was kind of mentioned a few times and made, I think, made only one appearance and didn't say anything. Um, but in here he has, you know, a speaking role and does play a part in the story. In fact, um, Gandalf, uh, actually has a big story arc that's, um, in the movie, but isn't really in the book. Like, it's mentioned once or twice, but that's kind of about it. Um, now, the characters in the story do a great job at portraying, the actors, I mean, uh, not the characters, the actors do, do a great job at portraying their characters, um, and uh, the actors that are reprising the roles of the characters do a great job. Um, like uh, like the actor that plays um, Saruman. I can't remember his name. Um, it'll come back to me at some point. But yeah, like the actor that plays Saruman did a great job playing Saruman again. Um, and Andy Serkis did a great job playing Golem. It was nice seeing Golem again. Um, and I like, you know, the details that they did at Golem, making him look a little bit more healthier because he has the ring. Um, a little bit stronger. Um, like I thought that was pretty good. Um, speaking of the effects, effects look amazing. Uh, Jackson, you know, did a really good job at making this feel like Middle Earth again. Um, the, uh, the the thing I got I think is just a little weird though, and you know, and I I guess you got I guess like you know the defense is that maybe they had a budgeting problem at some point, and that is that the orcs look all CG in here while uh, in the original stories the orcs were guys in makeup like they had you know great you know effects to make them look real um, and they look great in here but I don't know the, the CG orcs just look a little bit off to me um, even though some people are saying it's because like they're not underground or something um, if anyone really knows why uh, please tell me um, now the songs in here, um, and yes, there are songs in this movie that, um, because there are songs in the original book, uh, surprisingly work. Like, I was thinking that, you know, they were going to get rid of the songs or they were going to have the songs in and, you know, try to make them work in some aspects, and they do. Like, the songs work, uh, well, the songs that they could, uh, find, that they could fit in the movie, because there were some songs they, they cut out, and I'm personally okay with it. The songs they put in here are pretty damn good, um... Um, if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, um, I'll say, you know, check this movie out. It's a great adaptation of the book, and um, I'm looking forward to what they do with Smog in the second movie. And really curious of what's going to happen uh, for the third movie, since I think the third movie is The War. But, as I gotta say, goodbye.